Welcome to your 33rd Java tutorial. We're going to look at methods again and specifically we're going to do um, something we haven't done before. We're actually going to go ahead and declare an object inside a method that is not our main method, right? Up to now we've been kind of declaring our objects all the way down here and declaring them in the main method, right? But you don't actually have to do that. You can declare them anywhere you want and we're going to declare them inside a method inside this class, which is not part of the main method. And so that brings me to another point um, in terms of how you want your program to operate. One way to do it is the way we've kind of been doing it all along. Um, we declare a bunch of objects and it's kind of a running list going down this way. It's everything's in our main. The other way is to actually declare your objects outside of your main method and kind of have your objects talking to your objects in all your other classes and then you just have one object in your main method kick everything off. Or you could have like a hybrid, some objects here and then you know objects outside in other different classes. So it's really how you want to do it. Now I will tell you that a lot of times, um, let's say you know you develop this class and uh, you want to test it really quick, you can go ahead and just drop a main in and test and see if it works. Now that may not be where your main ends up, this may be part of an overall hierarchy, but you just want to test it kind of on the fly. So you drop a main in and then you can go ahead and test the class. So I just wanted to make those points. So let's go ahead and see what we've done here. We're going to go ahead and declare a new object here and we're going to have the constructor go ahead and build that. And so the first method we're going to call is this no return method called call it. And here's what we're actually going to do. We're going to declare a new object here called new OBJ. And keep in mind now we have this object. It exists only with inside this method, right? That's its life. It doesn't do anything outside of it. So within these brackets, that's where this object exists. So we're going to go ahead and declare that. And the whole purpose of this object is to call this do it method down here and pass these two values to the do it method. So this value 13 here will land in this spot right here, this local variable. And this one 14 will land in this spot right here at this local variable. And so of course that's the ordering sequence, right? This one matches this one and this one matches this one and so on, depending on how many different values we want to put in here. And so then it'll come down here and these local variables here will be multiplied times each other and then we will print this out. So let's go ahead and call that over here. And we've already got our object created. So we will just go ahead and invoke that method call it. And let's go ahead and run this. And we got the number 182. And that is what we expected. Now, again, this was the literal value that we passed here. Now, as I've talked about in previous videos, you can pass these by reference. And so basically what I did was I took these two methods and copy and pasted them down here. And if you take a look at this, we're actually, let's close out this here, we're actually going to be passing the same value here. The only difference I did in, th in this one right here was I created the variables, but we assigned the same values. You see that, 13 and 14, and 13 and 14. And the point I'm trying to make here is that when you pass by reference, so we're actually taking this variable and putting it here, the variable name we're putting here instead of the actual value, but that doesn't matter. These actual values here are what get passed, not the name. So that's what we call reference by value. Even though we put in the variable name here, it's actually the value that gets passed. So theoretically, right, we should get the same result for both of these methods. And let's go ahead and invoke this method from over here and we will see what happens. So we'll do test tree, call it again, and let's go ahead and run this. And there you can see we got the same result. So the same exact thing happened. The name was not passed. These values were passed and this method do it again does the exact same thing that this method up here does. And remember, we can go ahead and use this variable multiply, which we defined in here. And we can also call the same name up here because they are local to this method. So they don't see each other, right? They are not out inside the class. And that's why we can go ahead and use the same name again in these methods. Now, if we put them outside in the class, then we'd have a conflict. Okay, that's going to do it for this tutorial. I hope you found this helpful and I will see you guys in the next video.